fourth graders. We're going to start our new math book. I know you're excited about that. I can hear all your your excitement over the video. How did you like that test last week, that final exam? It wasn't as hard as you thought it was going to be, was it? Okay, we're going to start in the 6-5 book today. I want you to do four lessons this week. I am going to go over the lessons just very quickly because it is nothing new. The first maybe 25, maybe more lessons in each book are review. It's stuff you've had in fourth, I mean, in your 5-4 uh, book, some of it in the third grade book, so it's nothing new. You shouldn't have any problems with it. If you do, give me a call and I will try to help you. Excuse me. Lesson number one on page one is sequences and digits. Now, before you do any lesson, I want you to go and read the whole lesson, even though you think you know what, what they're talking about. It's a good refresher. In this lesson, they will talk about sequence. That's an ordered list of numbers, and that's called a sequence. Each number in the sequence is called a term. Okay? These are words that you need to have in your head. So please read the lesson before you start it. I want to give you one hint, though. If you look at question uh, number 13 through 18, they want you to describe the rule number of the sequence, not just filling in the sequence, but telling what rule it is. So if you're adding, your rule would be plus something. If you're subtracting, your rule would be minus something. So make sure you do both of those for 13 through 18. And question number 19. That seems to trip up a lot of people. And I don't know why, because all they'd have to do is go back to page 1 and find the answer. It says, what word names an ordered number of numbers? So if you don't know what that word is, go back to page one. Look at the words that are in blue, and you will find the answer. I'm not going to give you the answer. You need to look it up if you don't know it. Now, let's go to uh, lesson two right quick. Even and odd numbers. Well, I hope you don't have any trouble with even and odd numbers. An even number is always ends in a multiple of two, such as 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. Odd numbers are 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. So, I hope you don't have any trouble with that lesson, but once again, read it first. Okay? If you have a long number that is made four or five digits long, and you say, well, how do I know if it's even or odd? Just look at the last number of that number. If it's a 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, it's even. If it's not, then it's odd. I know you guys know the difference between even and odd numbers. Okay, lesson three. Turn to lesson three on page eight. Using money to illustrate place values. Of course, you do not have those uh, fake $1, $10, $100 bills, so you'll just have to either draw a picture of it or make sure you read the lesson first. This, once again, nothing new to you. You've had this before many, many times. I need a haircut, can you tell? And number, lesson number four, comparing whole numbers. You've done this before. Remember, to compare the numbers, you write one number, and then if you're, it's even equal to the next number, you would draw an equal sign. If it's greater than, you would make this sign. Remember, the arrow always points to the smallest number. If it's less than, you would point this way. The arrow always points to the smallest number. Don't forget that. 
Okay, you also have speed tests that go along with this. They're all addition. They're all the same. You're going to get tired of doing the same one, I'm sure. But you know how they always make you do eight, ten of them each time before they change to the next one. So this is the end of Math 4. I don't think you'll have any problems, but if you do, just give me a call and I will help you. See you next time. Bye.